Ninja Man was convicted on circumstantial evidence in the Home Circuit Court on Monday, November the 20th, 2017, according to the Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn, at the end of the in-camera trial. The DPP, who spoke with reporters at her office after the trial, said the entertainer christened Desmond Valentine as well as his co-accused son Janelle and Dennis Clayton were not seen pulling the trigger of the gun that killed Ricardo Ricky Trooper Johnson in 2009. However, she said evidence given at the trial pointed to the three men committing the act as a result of a domestic feud that started the previous day. Before we proceed, smash the like button to pieces, leave a comment, please share the life out of this video, feel free to subscribe for more content, remember to turn on your notification so as to never miss another video. Let's do it. Llewellyn said that the individuals who were involved, including the deceased, the main crown witness and the now convicted men were all friends before the shooting. According to Llewellyn, the feud started on March 16 on Mall Road in Olympic Gardens, St. Andrew. She said the feud reportedly involved two tenants, Johnson and an elderly woman at a premises which Llewellyn did not disclose. In the evidence given at the trial, the elderly woman called her granddaughter to help to quell the conflict and the granddaughter in turn called her boyfriend, Dennis Clayton, who is also the father of her children. Clayton went to the premises and got into an argument with Johnson and the owner of the property whom Llewellyn called Witness A, who is now in the Witness Protection Program. Witness A sided with Johnson in the dispute. According to the evidence, Clayton and Johnson eventually got into a fistfight which Clayton is believed to have won. Clayton however returned about 8 a.m. on March 17 with other men and was then armed with a machete. During that round of fuss, stones were also thrown. The DPP said the evidence given was that after another bout of arguing, during which the younger Ballantyne drove up and stopped at Johnson's gate and made threatening remarks at him and Witness A. Both Johnson and Witness A walked away from the fuss. But later that same morning, Witness A went to visit Johnson and the same car was driven to the scene, this time with Clayton, Janiel and Ninjaman, who after exiting the vehicle threatened both men as well as a relative of Johnson who intervened. The Ballantines and Clayton later left the scene, but about 11.30 in the morning, Clayton returned with another group of men who were armed with boards and bats. They approached Witness A and Johnson who both ran in different directions. While retreating, the evidence says that Witness A encountered Ninja Man who had a gun in hand that he used to fire at Witness A who ran to the back of Johnson's house where he saw the now deceased man when both of them ran through a hole in the fence on the property. According to the evidence, Witness A, after covering some distance, looked back and saw Johnson pushing the fence back in an effort to prevent others from coming through the hole. Johnson also had a machete that he was using to chop up the fence in a bid to ward off the attackers. Witness A testified of then hearing a loud explosion coming from the other side of the fence and saw what appeared to be blood coming from Johnson's side, with him shouting that he had been shot. Witness A then saw Clayton looking over the fence briefly before Johnson fell and died at the spot. Llewellyn said a relative of Johnson also gave evidence that she saw both Ballantines jumping over the gate of the premises with guns. The DPP said Clayton was placed at the crime scene by Witness A. She said voice recognition was also used to identify the younger Ballantine. This came from a witness who went to school and grew up with him. She said that witness was inside the house while everything was taking place. So the Crown asked the court and the jury using the concept of common design to infer that these three men were acting together, which was aimed at using the guns to cause grievous bodily harm to Mr. Ricardo Ricky Trooper Johnson, Llewellyn indicated. The DPP said her team of Katy Pike and Nicholas Edmonds fought a hard battle as the defense team put up a tough challenge in an effort to free their clients. As an experienced prosecutor, remember our role is to present the best possible case. It was a hard case. It was a difficult case. Circumstantial evidence cases are difficult to prove. 
there was critical issues of law that the crown had to make sure that they did their research to be able to convince the court especially in the case of dennis clayton who was always armed with a machete outline lowling queen's counsel valerie nita robertson represented ninja man with gladstone wilson appearing for clayton and linton walters for janiel all the lead defense attorneys declined to comment after the verdict was given. The jury found Ninja Man guilty of shooting with intent and murder. Janiel and Clayton were found guilty of murder. This video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons. To become a patron, follow the link in the description below. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet. Until next time, walk good.